And welcome, everyone, to another edition of Magic Pod Squad. This podcast presented to you by the all-new Seltos SUV from Kia, official vehicle of the Orlando Magic. Give it everything, and we're kind enough to uh, be joined by Wes and Wundu giving us a few minutes here. Wes, it's been a month, man. We haven't even seen you. It's good. Yeah. First of all, it's good to see you. How you holding up? How you feeling the last month? Uh, thanks for having me, man. This um, it's going good, man. You know, I'm just uh, taking it day by day. Um, you know, trying to be a good citizen, man, and stay inside and stuff, and uh, stay quarantined inside, man. So it's uh, it's a little different times, you know, from from a, a regular day, but I'm adjusting to it. Wes, did you get your did you get your tips frosted since we saw you last? What's going on there, man? man? This this is this is quarantine things right here, man. You know, you have have a lot of time on our hands. I'm, all now, right. So. Yeah, just so. Uh, is this, by the way? This is quarantine. Yeah, this is quarantine. <laughs> oh, man, I see you guys. Hey, not bad, though. Not bad, though, guys. You got a lot of, got a lot of colors in mind, and it's, uh, it's getting out of control. But <laughs> what, is that the first thing you're going to do when this quarantine gets lifted? Are we all going to go get our hair cut? Oh, man, that sounds like a plan, man. Go get, go get our hair cuts and just maybe get a new outfit as well, some suits or something, man. Just be refreshing. Yeah, what are you missing? What are you missing the most? Obviously, we understand why we're doing this, and our thoughts and prayers are with everybody. But when we can resume normal mm -hmm. activity, what what do you find yourself missing the most these days? Oh man, if I could put it all into one, man, I would say just you know, uh, basketball period. You know, and everything falls under that. You know, the fans, uh, my teammates, just being around everybody. You know, I, I miss that. You know, I wake up. I still wake up, man, like at 8.15, like, oh, I got practice at 9.30, you know, still thinking that in my head. But it's, uh, like I said, just adjusting, man, but I miss all the the basketball, the basketball part. Now, you, Wes, you talked about being a good citizen. Uh, you made a nice donation to uh, to the uh, what Jonathan Isaac had set up there. Talk about, a little bit about that. Oh, man, I, Jay, y'all really inspired me, man, you know, to go out and uh, help him with the donation, man, because uh, – you know, right now, um, it's different times for everyone. So, you know, I know it's, uh, you know, a lot of people may be getting affected by, you know, these times. So it was just out of, you know, um, a generous move and, you know, with helping Jay out to donate, you know, some money to his program and um, just help them out any way I can. You know what? You're one of a number of players that, that was quick to jump uh, into action there on the front lines and help people mm -hmm. here in Central Florida that need it. And I know that's a, that's a big initiative for our ownership yeah. group, the DeVos family. Uh, how, how much do you appreciate the DeVos family and, and kind of the, 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 the way that they set things up and, and how much do you kind of take your lead from them? How much do you appreciate, uh, you know, just, just kind of them in general? Um, man, it was expected, you know, because um, that's just, you know, the kind of people they are, you know, they're very given people. So um, to be honest, man, I think they set the bar, you know, they set the example of, uh, you know, what you do in times like this and, and towards, of helping people and you know when players like us seen that man we tried to find you know ways we could you know in a group text to uh help out any way we could as well man you know just following suit of the DeVos family so um that was real big and pretty sure helpful in many ways for uh, many people um around the organization and uh, to help out the magic see that's interesting Wes I don't know that fans mm -hmm. knew that or or I certainly didn't know that so you guys were all chatting amongst yourselves as players and trying to come yeah. up with ways that you could give back. I think that's outstanding, man. Yeah, man. We uh, got the big group message, uh, team group message. You know, that's how we kind of stand in contact, you know, uh, these days. Um, but, yeah, man, we was in there just trying to find different ways, you know, we can do some programs or pitch in with the DeVos family to uh, assist them. So, you know, I end up working out there. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty good sign, man. Now, we're very proud of you guys, Wes. You guys have all stepped up, and, uh, you know, we're, we're really proud to have all of you guys on our team, on our side. So uh, we appreciate you, sure. those guys, too. So what else have you guys been talking about on that, on that group chat? What's, what's been – now, you got to keep it a little clean, though. Right? Yeah. Uh, Crazy. Everybody's kind of showing off their new hobbies. You know, uh, MCW, uh, Mike, he's like – a big Triller guy now doing videos and TikTok videos. So that's kind of the new wave now, man. You see yeah. the uh, TikTok thing going on. So uh, I think guys are just finding, you know, different little hobbies, uh, whether it's video games. Um, me, I would say I got closer with my dogs, man. You know, this is like – this time being home is just like uh, – I don't think they see me at home this much, honestly, because of how we travel so much. So 
it's just been finding different things to do and, uh, you know, try to keep our minds in a positive uh, direction. Okay. Are you mobile at all? Is that, is that, is, is your setup mobile at all that we can see your dogs? Are they close by? We'd love to, yeah, they, we've heard a um, lot about them. We'd love to see them if we can. One, one is chilling right here. I don't know what the other one is, but uh, here, let me see. Come here, Noble. Let, <laughs> let us know what you yeah. got. You got, you, who, who are the dogs and what are their names? So this is uh, Nova right here. Oh, <laughs> Nova. yeah. She's, here. Look at yeah. That. She just, <laughs> she's right here chilling, awesome. listening in to you guys as well. Um, yeah, that's awesome. The other one, Blaze, he, he's a little shy, man. I don't know where he's at, but uh, he's uh, here. Let me see. I take you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wes, how old? How old are the dogs? So the dogs are about a month. I mean, I'm sorry, a year and a half, I would say. So they're still in puppy, full puppy mode. Still, still full puppy mode. Here they go, right here, Blaze. These guys are here. Let's see. Blaze. This. Let's see this. All right. So Blaze. So as soon as he knew you were doing an interview, Blaze went and hid. <laughs> there they are. Hit. These two. That's awesome. Here you go, right here. Blaze. Are they brother and sister? Do you get them from the same litter? Yeah, from the same litter. So they're brother and sister. That's yeah, awesome. So, yeah, they're just hanging out right here, man. Got their toys and stuff. So <laughs> that's great, yeah, man. Now, what is that? Things. What has that taught you, being a dog owner now, Wes? <laughs> um. Man, honestly, man, <laughs> it's kind of like people say it's like uh, taking care of a um, taking care of a kid in a sense, just because they're they they are pretty costly as as far as like keeping them healthy and getting yeah. their checkups and things like that, man. But uh, it's just a big time responsibility. It's a big time responsibility. So that's pretty much how I can sum that up. So wait, yeah. so when you're on the road, Wes, who was watching the dogs when when you're gone, when you're not home? So, uh, like I said earlier, my best friend, um, Greg, is out here with me. So, uh, it's a big help, man. When I'm on the road, you know, the dogs are here at home. And I also have a uh, boarding a boarding school called Love and Care in Windermere that's uh, pretty good for watching them as well when I'm on the road for a long period of time. So, it's a few options there, man. Well, that's good. Yeah, I, I feel the same as you. My dog, I, th I feel like our dog, we have a dog, we have a golden retriever and she's three. And I feel like she is constantly looking at us now, like, when are you guys going to leave? Because there's, you know, <laughs> exactly. she spends a lot of her time in the, in the crate while we're not home. And mm -hmm. now it's like, she's out all the time. And I don't think she knows what to do with all her, uh, her, <laughs> her free time. Exactly, man. I, I said, I think they get tired of me at this point, man. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's funny. How about this? What do you got that? You got the Eastern Conference. Uh, what do you got? Southeast Division champ shirt on? What are you wearing? There? Oh, yeah, man. Take it off. Take it off. It's a throwback. Just, uh, yeah. yeah, a little throwback here, man. Uh, a friend gave it to me as a gift. Uh, I like it. Last, yeah, thank you guys. About last year, man. So, very cool. them off for sure. For sure, represent some uh, history there. That aspect. But, yeah. You know what's you know what's something you know you know what was uh, you guys were starting to find something there West you guys had kind of turned mm -hmm. the corner and, and it seemed like this team was coming into its own obviously right. we understand why things are shut down but uh, mm -hmm. what, why do you think this team had kind of turned the corner you, you that the way you finished out that road trip was something special man you know these events was unfortunate man because you know I hate to compare from uh, year to year but I think uh, kind of similar to last year in a sense, we was finding a groove, you know, we was uh, kind of getting into a rhythm, I felt, um, as a team, man. Uh, we, I think we was about to go on a pretty good run, if you ask me, being honest, man, because uh, that's the momentum we had, but it was tough, man, but um, we're just waiting to see, you know, waiting to see what happens with everything and uh, see what we can do if the season isn't canceled or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Wes, what was your favorite moment of the season up to this point? Is there is there something that sticks out for you? And it can be for yourself, it can be for a teammate, like mm -hmm. the favorite moment of the of the season so far. Um oh man, it's so many, man. Uh <laughs> it's so many, man. Uh like I said, it's, it's so many stories to say, you know, from each guy on the team that I could say was my favorite moment. Maybe uh the moment when uh, Kale got his triple-double uh, against the Lakers, or even AG getting his first triple-double was special, you know. But uh, and all, man, just, you know, winning games is always my favorite part. And uh, 
just playing in front of the fans. Can't never go wrong with that. That's no, two good ones right there. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's two good ones right there. Yeah. Now you had started those last three games, the last three mm-hmm. wins. I, I know Evan got hurt and, and you were thrust back into action there. So what did yeah. you guys kind of find and how much did you enjoy being part of that? That some you guys had found something again, having won three in a row. And how much did mm-hmm. you enjoy being a part of that? Uh it was fun, man. You know, when a big piece like Evan goes down like that, man, it uh it gives uh, other guys opportunity to kind of, you know, show what they're made of. And those three games we went on, you know, without E was uh, pretty big for us going forward um, because just being honest, you know, like I said, guys showed what they were made of. Uh, you know, we didn't let uh, E being not affect us in, in any way. We just kind of said, you know, next man up and guys stepped up and uh, that's pretty big. I mean, that's a reason for part of this run, though, right, Wes, is that mm-hmm. we're getting so many contributions from so many different people at this point before, you know, right. before things stop. Right. Uh, that just goes to the sort of depth we have on the team. You know, um, you know, when guys like uh, Chief went down, um, J.I., um, we still had guys, you know, that we can, uh, you know, say rely on to step up. And that's the great thing, I think, about our team was, you know, from one to uh, – 15 down the line, it was pretty good depth down there. So uh, it's pretty, it, was, it, was, it was good, man. How fun is it, just for those of us, obviously, that have never mm-hmm. had that opportunity, but when you get a chance to go home, you go home, you're starting that game in Houston, uh, right. and you have the performance you did. You, you got the team going with the way you played yes. that first quarter. Then you end up blowing them out. James Harden and Russell Westbrook end up blowing that team out. But how, what, what is that feeling like, and, and how surreal is that for it to all come full circle? Every time you come home and step on that floor, um, just being honest, it was a little nerve wracking, you know, because of the <laughs> moment, uh, you know, I was starting in front of my family, and um, it was a big a, game, you know. You had a lot I of people good, there too, right? You had a lot of people, a lot of, there. yeah, a lot of people, man. You know, a lot of people really showed up and supported, so it was, it was that even made the, you know, the game that more uh, nervous. But it was big, man. You know, us going out there from the jump. Um, coming out and playing the way we did um, to uh, kind of put the game away early, I think was big and it gave us, well, me, a lot of breathing room, you know, to kind of <laughs> chill and relax and just, you know, enjoy the moment of my family being there. So that was, that was a special moment. And what, what part does, what, what part do you start to breathe in that game? Is it like when you make your first <laughs> shot? Is it when you make your first defensive play? What, what, what when do you finally start to have mm-hmm. the jitters go away? It's for sure when you make the first shot, I would say, man. Uh, once I made that first shot, then, you know, we kind of got on the run. Uh, things things from there seemed a little a little breezy. How about on the floor, West, your style, the, your shoes? I, I've, you know, I never know from night mm-hmm. to night what you're going to have on your feet. <laughs> but a lot of times I see some pretty colorful shoes that you roll out yeah. there with. What, what goes into that, the decision-making, and, and how do you pick those? Oh, uh, man, Funny. Cliff gives me something about my shoes every other week, man, you know, but that just represents with me. I like color, man, and I think color represents energy, you know. Uh, so, you know, with my style on the court, I like to mix it up a little bit, kind of not – try not to wear the same shoes or, you know, switch it up every week or so. So, it's just all the energy thing, man, and just something that motivates me to, uh, you know, just to play, man, just add some excitement to it. Do you have a favorite? Is there a favorite pair in your uh, in your closet? Oh, uh, my favorite ones I would say would be my um highlighter sour patch uh Stephen Curry's. Uh they're mm-hmm. like some green and kind of like highlight peach colors. So those are pretty cool, man. Dante, you don't wear those, do you? You don't have those. I do that on the pocket squares. I'll do the pocket squares. I'll do that. I'll do the sour patch highlights. I'll get that. Cool, man. He didn't cool. say sour patch kids. He didn't say sour patch kids. He said his shoes are sour patch colors. That's right. I'll get that. I'll do that for sure. Well, now, so what are you doing to pass the time now, Wes? I mean, normally you'd be going to practice. You can't do that. Normally you'd be getting shots. And do you, well, first of all, do you have access to a hoop, or have you not shot a basketball in one month? So, man, we have a uh, public hoop. But, you know, when it's public, it's a lot of uh, kids in the neighborhood kind of around, you know. So, when it's not so busy, I try to go and do, like, 10 minutes of just regular form shooting, you know. Um, okay. As far as, like, you know, uh, work three-point shooting with Coach Bruce, I'm not getting the three-point shooting with Coach Bruce yeah. right now, you know. So, it's just kind of um, muscle memory and uh, routine work that I do. But, um. 
Yeah, man. Just to pass time, it's like every morning I'm I'm waking up, uh, maybe around eight thirty. You know, um, going on a mile run. I bought some bikes. Um, my friend is also working out with me, man. So I'm trying to, Good. you know, keep him motivated as well, too, man. And uh, that's just the best way I feel is, uh, you know, staying in the routine as if the season continues, who knows, in a month or or two. So uh, it's pretty much all it's about. Now, you're not hitting the snacks hard like we are, are you? Like- <laughs> oh, hey, of course I am. I can't stop eating. I can't stop eating snacks right now, so. Um, that's just the you know the thing about sitting at home, man. We have a lot of free yeah. time. You find yourself in the pantry a lot more. So, um, what's a go to snack? I won't tell. I won't tell <laughs> Zach or anybody that you're cheating. Make sure, hey, make sure Zach and Nathan don't see this. But yeah, I, we'll, I, we'll, I, I love I love Oreos, man. Um, <laughs> fruit snacks, man. I got a whole closet full of Oreos and fruit snacks. And uh, my favorite one is the uh, Doritos, the spicy uh, nacho Doritos. Yes. So. <laughs> Yes. Sound like my Those kids. This sounds like yeah, my kids. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's the <laughs> See, favorite right there. See, George and I have been crushing Doritos well before this lockdown. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so we got a we got a nice head start. What about Netflix? Are you watching shows or movies or are you into anything as, as far as that goes? Dude, man, I uh just finished uh Money Heist. Uh, it's okay. so called Money Heist, man. It's pretty good. Um I just finished the whole season four. I uh finished Ozarks. I don't know if you guys heard about yes. that one. Oh, uh, yeah, one. I just started. Yeah, we just started Ozark last night. Hey, you know, yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to spoil, spoil it for you guys, but, uh, yeah, so stay tuned in, man. And um, I think that's pretty much it right about now, man. The rest is just movies I've been so watching. You like so. The, so you like the action thriller? Do you, do you get into, sci, like, sci-fi or horror movies? Do you like scary movies at all? Everything. I would think uh, – I would say horror movies are, like, my favorite category of movies. Oh, really? Honestly. Yeah, man. So, um my mom always tuned in to him, man. Any new releases, anything, yeah, I'm, I'm there, man. See, can you do that, George? I can't watch a horror movie and then go to bed. I cannot. No, I, <laughs> I can't watch a horror movie, period. <laughs> go to oh, bed. Man. No, I can't. Oh, no, man. I don't. Life is scary enough for me sometimes. I don't, I don't, I don't need <laughs> yeah, that is else to, to get, get on me. No way. No. Ozark, though, I'm into that one. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. Wes, you didn't, you weren't into the Tiger King at all. You didn't fall victim to the trend. Oh man, let me not leave that. I did check that uh, Tiger King out, man. That, you know what? That's funny, man. That's like entertaining TV to say the least, man. So it was, it was definitely funny, but uh, for sure some characters, for sure some characters. It'd be funnier that. for me if those weren't real people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A little exactly. bit scary for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a, We got a couple of games for you. All right, we're gonna throw this out okay. at you. All right. Cool. So the first one, this is a this is a question that Magic fans would like to know. All right. Question number one. That let's redo this isolation period, right? Let's say you're stuck on an island and you gotta take three teammates. Have to take three teammates. All right. Okay. You gotta limit it. So who are you who are you rolling with uh, during that isolation? Okay, I'm gonna take DJ. I'm gonna take um Kim, Kim Birch. Okay. And then my Third one would be um, – I'm going to take Evan for my third one. Okay. How about – now, why? Why Why those three? Because he's not heard, I've not heard okay. – I've, I've, I've not heard Kim talk. So, you just want to have someone that will just listen when you're on? Okay. Exactly. Kim, Kim is, the t- is the toughest, is the strongest on the team. So, you know, okay. anything comes our way, that's Kim. <laughs> uh, dude, Evan has literally swum with jellyfish, dude. Like, ask Evan and, you know, he's into all the – nature and um you know outside things and then dj i just got to bring him along for the for the laughing you know yeah. he's going to be there with the jokes and he's just he's a funny guy on the team so that was my three man <laughs> very good very well done yeah. breakdown all right we're gonna sure. we're gonna play another game here it's gonna be called who tweeted it all right are you ready for this one wes let's go i'm gonna read a tweet to you you have to tell me who tweeted it okay all right this one is Let's see here. Let me pick this one. It says, you think the Monstars could guard KD? <laughs> you think the Monstars could guard KD? Ooh. Who said um, that on the team? Woo. Is that AG? No, that was actually Evan. I was surprised that was oh, Evan. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> but Evan <laughs> said that. Evan, Evan, Evan brought that one up. Okay, cool. All right. Here, here's, here's another one. This one says uh, – this two chains, and then there's a fire emoji. This two chains uh, with a fire emoji. It was not Dante. 
Yeah, it was not. <laughs> I could tell you it was not Dante. I do was usually listen was, to the uh, Ooh, was that Mo? That was Kel. That was Markel Fultz. Yeah, Markel. Kel, I should have known that. You're right, how, about, how, about, how about this one, Wes, right? Drove completely out of my way to Chick-fil-A, only to realize it's Sunday and they're closed. Heartbroken. Who tweeted that out? Honestly, that sounds like I did that before. <laughs> we've all, oh, I think we've all done that. We've all before. done that. You're right about we've that. We've all done that. But that was Mo. Mo tweeted that out. That was Mo. Okay, that was okay. Mo. That yeah. was Mo. Uh, I'm going to give you, uh, you're not very good. I'm going to give you this last one and, and, and I, I, you, I, I hope you get this one. Okay. It's, I need all drivers to understand what the fast lane is for. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That's me right there. Now what, oh, you yeah. got to tell us what happened, but what, so obviously something prompted that, that tweet. Okay, man. So I, I forgot, what, I think I was going to the mall or something, somewhere, you know, some random place. And uh, I was on 408 in the, the lane farthest away from the exit. You know, which is I consider the fast lane. So yes. I was just driving behind somebody, man. I don't know if they was on their phone or what they was doing, but I promise you they was going at least like forty five to like fifty miles in like the furthest lane away from the exit. So I was just like, come on, no. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like I thought this was the fast lane, considered the fast lane. So that's all that was. He did follow it up. Dante, he followed that one up with something else about like driving 45 miles an hour in the left lane. And Oh, like, yeah, yeah. He was, was chapped. He was really chapped. <laughs> Whatever happened, he was <laughs> he was. Well, here's happy. the thing. Like, I, some people will get right up on someone's bumper and try to get them to pull mm -hmm. over, which I don't think is safe. But I wonder if someone's doing 45 in the fast lane and 30 cars have just passed them, do they not notice that? Do exactly. they not do notice that? Should they not move over? <laughs> Maybe you got to get on the horn next time, right? I have no problem with that. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. I have no problem with that. All right, now how about this? We've got a, we've got another game for you, Wes. All right, so take a look at this. We've got some uniforms here. Okay. And we're going to put up I, most of the uniforms in Magic history. And again, you got to pick three. Okay. Okay. You got to pick three. So if you you could only wear these three moving forward, which one? What numbers are you going with? Can you see the numbers? Yep. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to go with number one. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. I'm going to go with number 12. Okay. Oh, you, like the, you like the city, new city ones? Yeah, and I'm going to go with – um. man, you got to have some blue in there. So I'm going to have to go with number three. I'm going to go with number one, three, okay. and 12. I think those are solid choices, right? The, solid the choices. Old school blue, old school black, and then the and then the new city jerseys. I think that's that's a solid three. Yeah, I try to throw a little everything in there. But you like those old school pinstripes, don't you? Those things are pretty. The sharp. pinstripes, yeah, man, those things are dope. And he sure. likes the, he likes the new cities because he can wear his sour patch orange. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I like the green, orange and green ones. <laughs> that's right. Okay, now it's time to play a game called Whose Account Is It? All right, we got this game. Whose account? Is it right? So we've got some pictures, and these okay. are pictures that have been. Uh, been these are on Instagram. Are these on Instagram? Instagram. And you got to okay. tell us. You got to tell us whose Instagram account this came from. All right, the silhouette has been taken out. All right. So first up, who's that? It's a lot of women's who's shoes in that. Who's that? That's that's a, for women's oh. dresses. It's a lot. It's a lot is of ladies' that, shoes. Is, is that Evan? That's a great. That guess. is Evan Fournier. Yes. Okay, yes. I knew guess. it. That's a good guess. That's the fashion guy on the team, right there. Now, Wes, let me ask you something. When you're with him, when he's getting these pictures taken, does he? <laughs> does a lot go into this? He it looks like he poses, and these are well thought out. <laughs> Dude, it's like uh, it's it's like clear the runway when Evan's <laughs> coming through. Seriously, for real. So, does he know? Uh, yeah. he, does he know he's just stepping into an arena for a basketball game? As of course he does. That's all we always giving him, uh, you know, crap about him, you know, dressing up and stuff, man. But he kills it, man. You know, he's uh, he, yeah, he kills it for sure. Yeah, I don't know about kills it, but he does have a unique. Style. <laughs> he mixes it up. He mixes, he mixes it up. It up. <laughs> he mixes it all up. All right. How about the? How about this one, Wes? How about how about number two? Who's that? That's Ag. Oh, good. That call. is Ag. That's good. AG. Now Dante and I both missed that Before. one. We, yeah, that's a good call. That's AG. Now, if he yeah. misses, if he misses, where does that ball go? Does that have a <laughs> long way? That to ball go? is is off the. Um, <laughs> Looks like he on the top floor of the uh, condo. So, 
Yeah, that ball is probably off the roof. Yeah, that ball, that ball's down Central Boulevard is where that ball exactly. is. Exactly. Right? That's, that's exactly <laughs> where that ball's going. It puts a lot of pressure on those jumpers. All right, right how about next? this one? Right behind you. I love that's that. A good, it's a good shot by you, by the way. <laughs> the nice photo bomb right there. Um, <laughs> that's for sure DJ, though. That is. You're, you're nailing this one. Three for 30. <laughs> this down. That's you DJ. Yeah, that's <laughs> – that's a good. That's a good photo bomb. That's, we got one that's, more for you. We got one more for you here. Who's this? Uh, that's MC Dove with the hat backwards. You got it. You're on. You got to be. Wow. Yo, that was your game right good. there. That was your yeah, game. You started with that one. You got to know that. your teammate. You got to know your teammates, right? <laughs> hey, Wes, what is it about? What is it about DJ? Especially in the locker room, I hear all of you guys have time where you go back and forth with DJ. He seems to be able to get the upper hand on everybody. <laughs> but yeah. To me, to me, I, but I, you would know more. What, what is it about him in the locker room? Uh, man, it's just, DJ is really a bit in the game. You know, he's uh, seen more than, you know, most guys in the locker room. So, uh, you know, when it comes to little arguments or little things like, go get this tower, do that. It's like, can you really argue with DJ? Cause it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny because he's a he's the smallest guy on the team, man. But he's just he he really controls the locker room. Like honestly, I, I feel like with DJ. I feel like in the locker room, DJ like likes to like toss a little grenade out to you guys and let you guys go, and then he run, and then he's gone. You turn around and DJ's gone. Like <laughs> exactly, it's like it. it's like man, don't take the bait from DJ. Do not take the bait. You know. So if he gets you, he got you, man. And he's gonna he's gonna. Uh, it's funny though, man. It's all jokes, man. He is. All right, got DJ. Well, listen, we really appreciate you taking the time to do this, Wes. It's been fun to catch no up worries. with you, and uh, hopefully, man, we would uh, we get back to playing games here at some time. And I, I know you miss everything about the game. I know you miss playing, the traveling, and I know you miss seeing all those smiling faces at Amway Center. Man, Dante and G, man, great catching up with y'all. Thank you guys for having me. And uh, stay safe out here, man. Wash your hands, and I hope we can get this thing back on the road soon, man. Me hey, too. Man. I'm gonna I'm gonna frost these tips before I'm gone. <laughs> hey man, hey, do that. Go for it. Go do for that. it. <laughs> Now's the time. Down. Bucket square. <laughs> All right. This podcast All right, presented to you by the all-new Seltos SUV from Kia, official vehicle of the Orlando Magic. Give it everything. Wes, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you guys.